Brazil's canary yellow shirts, blue shorts and white socks are synonymous with style, skill and of course success. The Seleção Brasileira has won five World Cups in this combination of colours, which was the product of a newspaper competition in 1953. Three years earlier, Brazil, who at that time played in an all-white strip, had been expected to win the 1950 tournament on home soil. Newspapers had even proclaimed them as champions on the morning of the final game, only for Uruguay to spoil the party in the Maracanã. It was a day that Aldir Garcia Schley remembers well. Just 16 at the time, he'd skipped across the border to neighbouring Uruguay to watch the latest Roy Rogers movie in a theatre in Rio Branco. Suddenly, they cut the film and we all started to stamp our feet because we thought the projector was broken. Then there was a noise and a voice announced in Spanish, the game in Maracanã is over. Brazil won, Uruguay too. We, Uruguayans, are the champions of the world. Then they played the Uruguayan national anthem. How could I not become a Uruguay supporter after that experience? The defeat to Uruguay triggered months, if not years, of national mourning. And in 1953, a change of kit was deemed necessary as part of the healing process. A competition, which was sponsored by a national newspaper, invited new designs for the new apparel. Initially, I wasn't going to enter the competition because I didn't quite understand the rules. I thought you had to put all four colours of the national flag on the shirt. I found that ridiculous and decided not to enter. Then I realised that it was possible to interpret the rules differently by designing a shirt that favoured the colours that represent our identity, the green and yellow, leaving the shorts and socks to take care of the blue and white. On these shirts here, you can still see the four colours, because I thought that they all had to be present on the shirt. Then I made more elaborate drawings, even with the players' names. Luizinho from Corinthians, Pinheiro from Fluminense, Ademir from Vasco and Baltazar from Corinthians. And from the hundreds of drafts, I kept this piece of paper with these three shirts. It's at this stage that you can start to see the original design. What I mean is the yellow shirt with green trim and the blue shorts. I found out about the results one day before they were announced on the Correo da Manhã newspaper. The newspaper published a reproduction of my drawing on December the 15th, 1953, with my artistic name, Alshi. The caption read, The future strip of the Brazilian national team has a green and yellow shirt, etc, etc. The paper would announce the name of the winner the following day, but I knew I had won. When I saw it, I thought, wow! I'm the winner. How amazing. Schley received many prizes for winning the competition. Among them, a trip to Rio de Janeiro, where he spent time living with the national team. He soon became disillusioned with the players' off-field antics, though, and returned to Rio Grande do Sul to pursue a career in journalism. Almost a lifetime later, Schley is a successful author, whose forthright political views saw him imprisoned by the military government on more than one occasion in the 1960s. He's now 77 and looking forward to the 2014 tournament, where the colours he created are sure to be worn by many Brazilians. Not by Schley, though. He still lives in Brazil's southernmost state, but he continues to favour Uruguay, both on and off the pitch. I was born in the border town of Jaguarão, just 200 metres from Uruguay. You only need to cross the river and there, on the other side, the people were supposed to be different, speaking a different language and so on. But we're all the same and I've always identified very passionately with Uruguay.
How ironic that a fan of Uruguay, the country that inflicted on Brazil its most humiliating defeat, should be the man to have designed the combination of colours in which the Seleção has become the most successful team in World Cup history.